Okay, so it starts with the engine off. I've already done all the checks. I know it's going to fly. i got to start the engine and launch it at the same time. So here we go. That's how I watch my bird. And I fly it on engine power until it gets up to an altitude of some number of feet. Kind of hard to do this with one hand, which is about right there actually. Not so graceful that, but I'll fly it into the sunset where you can see it. Maybe. Not so much. A better camera than an iPhone 8. But basically it's just gliding. I tie the um, I do have the channels for ailerons, rudder and elevator. I tie the rudder and the ailerons together so that I can use one hand to glide so there is coordinated movement between the controls. And it just stays up there. I don't know what the glide ratio of it is. But it's pretty long. Try to keep it on my neighbor's yard and I'll shoot it down with a shotgun. The problem that I have here is I have two towers in my yard. So that's going to go in front of the sunset a little bit. And the towers obviously would get in the way of the glider and my airplanes. Kind of coming in hot. Extend my downwind. They're coming at me. Uh, a little bit better. Not bad for one hand. This thing's got about a one meter wingspan, three feet or so. It's about a meter long. And it was intentional. It was originally intended to be launched with a rubber band. You can see the rubber band mechanism there. And I modified it with the engine. I put a cover engine on it. I put some strobe lights on top and bottom, which I can turn on with my controller. I've got a um, 3000 milliamp hour battery in here, which I guess I can show you in just a second. And I resurfaced the wings. The um, empennage was um, broken off and all the controls. There was no servos. I did cut the... Um, when I took the wings apart, I cut the ailerons in there, put in servos for the ailerons on both sides. They're not, they're pretty tiny ailerons, but they turn out to be pretty effective. And resurfaced everything with the new skin, which didn't do the greatest job, but it does work. And inside the cockpit, What is that, a 22 amp, 22 amp DSC, two or three cell lithium ion. And I really like this battery, this 3000 milliamp hour Ovonic. I kind of bought it on a whim because I needed new batteries, but that battery is actually really good. The receiver, I'm using the um, 
L9R Free Sky. But the other thing I'm using down here is the um, the A3 six axis gyro. And what I do, I can't remember what mode it's in. Basically wing leveling mode, which does help fly this thing when it gets so far away you can't see it so you don't know what kind of control inputs to put into it. Um, it helps to have the wing leveler because it's designed to keep the plane in the air without any control. I guess the other thing that I did to this was um, I put the folding propeller on it. I just found it on Amazon and it works really well. I can't remember which version of Cobra I got. It's not super big. It's actually quite small, quite a small engine. But the uh, folding prop, you know, when, the, when it's gliding, this prop just folds back and then it kind of gets out of the way. This thing originally had a nose cone on it, which I have not figured out a way to get the nose cone back on it. I think I'm just gonna leave it off. But yeah, I can turn the strobes on and off from my controller. Originally this was simply controlled with um, rudder and elevator and that's when I put the uh, the uh, ailerons on there. Everything I read said don't put ailerons on cantilevered wings like that but I've had no problems at all. This thing trims out perfectly and flies perfectly so I don't know, kind of a fun project. I thought it was worth documenting and put it on the internet. My controller is the um, Tyrannus. Tyrannus Plus. There is a newer one out, but so far I don't have a need for it. This thing's a piece of junk. I've had to fix the antenna twice now. I think that's the proper fix there. I did finally get it where it wouldn't come off. Anyway, that's that. Pretty cool, I like the little bird.